Go ahead. I'll start because it's my first one. <laughs> so, well, it means a lot. I, I never did well in mixed doubles and I could not figure out why. And then I got this great partner and we didn't do well in Wimbledon and I was like blaming myself. And then here, you know, playing so well, I started to believe it from the first round match. And uh, it's, it's great. I'm so happy. I actually won dozens of uh, titles. Men's doubles, mixed doubles. What does this one mean to you? Well, this one is a special one because it was the first one for Andrea. But uh, like Andrea said, after playing for the first time at Wimbledon, right off the bat, we felt like I felt much easier on the court with Andrea than probably in most of all, most of my previous mixed doubles matches. It was she's a girl, pretty girl, smiles a lot, but she thinks like a man. I felt on the court. You know, she she looks for ways to to win. She's very positive. She's uh, um, so I, even though we lost first round at Wimbledon, I was eager to play again. And when she texted me, you know, should we try again? I was very easy to say yes, and I'm, I'm glad I did because uh, from the first round here, we played well and we enjoyed our practice together. Or you know, when we were down, there pl plenty of times we were down in a match, semifinal match. Today we were down, and there was no uh, sense of panic or you know discomfort or negativity there was always smiles and we kept on working together and that's why I believe we did well. It's a great run you only dropped one set during the fortnight five matches describe that chemistry you were starting to touch on it now but there seems to be a real chemistry out there. Well it helps that Andrea has been very successful in doubles so she feels when to do things how to do it and uh, She's like, we kept saying to each other, you know, keep riding the wave. She's been playing so well in the key moments. And uh, I watched uh, her last couple doubles matches, and uh, she was very clutch player, you know, in that semifinals doubles. And was it semis or quarters? Uh, you know, semis. yeah, pulling, pulling no, some, quarters. some quarters. tough shots at the, at the right moment. And, uh, you know, just kept telling, you know, just work together and just keep pulling out those shots. You know she's she's doing well, and you know there's no reason to back yourself up when when that happens. And you know we were capitalizing on some of these moments today, and uh, Andrea hit these key returns in the five-all game. Now at the end, and got us to serve for the match. First set was certainly up for grabs. Then there was a major turnaround after you captured that first set. What took place? What was happening? Mm, I think. In the beginning, I started a bit slow, and Max was holding up the whole team, and especially, you know, not letting us go down because I had like a little bit of a tired start when I was also putting myself down a bit with the bad start. And he kept the uh, head up and kept on pushing me, even though we were really down in uh, a lot of games after we even won, but we were down in those games, like last 30 on my serve and like that. So. That was very important for the for the first set, and then I pulled out some good shots when it was really needed by the end of the first set. So that was that was good to actually finally step up, and then yeah, then second set we just kept on going, and I think we were better in the second set, so it was meant to be to finish like that. You talked about what this title means to you. What does the game of mixed doubles mean to the sport? Well, I believe the fact that they've added uh, this discipline to the Olympic uh, says it all. You know, we um, I've been part of mixed doubles on many occasions, and uh, I've always enjoyed it because uh, even though it's it's a similar format as a doubles match, but it's different in many different ways because different strategies involved and sun, wind, where the girl likes to play, where she doesn't like to play, how she likes to move, and it's just another challenge for me as a tennis player to, to try to do well, and when Mixed was out there to play, I always wanted to be part of it, and uh, now that it's part of the Olympic movement, I don't see why it, it shouldn't be there. It's, you know, there's many great characters play Mixed Doubles, and uh, it's just another, uh, I would say, maybe another way of displaying doubles on a doubles court. Uh, As you said, you've been with it for over a decade. How much has mixed doubles changed over the last 
10, 13 years? Well, <laughs> I think the game over, overall became much more physical. And as you see today is a great example. Uh, Ab Abby Spears, you know, treated my serve with ease, and, uh, and, uh, and that's disturbing, you know, when a girl stands out there and there's, you know, on a few occasions, I went full on, you know, there's a couple 130s, miles an hour, 125, she just stuck it back at my feet, and, you know, that probably wasn't the case. The first time I won mixed doubles here was in 98 with Serena. We played, I believe, Lisa Raymond and Pat Galbraith. And the balls were coming back as lollipops at the time. I felt, you know, Lisa Raymond couldn't handle the serve up here. Today, Abby's standing on the on the baseline and returning my serve. That wasn't the case, ten, you know, ten, twelve years ago.